So I'm building a 30 amp hour skid bank with a 2.9 uh, amp hour cells from Shrico. That's what it looks like. I had to put these studs in there. Um, so I went ahead and did that, put the studs in and then kind of tighten them with a little Allen wrench. I got my bars from Jim's Machine Works. They look nice. So if you order them, um, comes with the bars, comes with the end terminals, the screws for the end terminals and the screws for this. It also comes with um, this, it's an acrylic spacer. It comes with paper, you gotta peel the paper off both sides. It takes a while. That's why I went ahead and did it. So between peeling the paper off of the acrylic and putting all the studs in and checking each, I checked each cell with the voltmeter. Just doing those three things and unwrapping all the cells, it probably took me I don't know three hours to do that so it is time consuming um, it is a little tedious stuff and to get all the bars on there it's a little tedious work it takes a while um, can't just sit there and do this whole thing gotta do a little bit take a break but I can't stand the little tiny these studs are tiny here's my finger they're tiny so, 30 amp hour bank, um, 2.9 skib cells, 6S, and then this is 10 parallel, so it's actually like 29 amp hours. Um, so, I put the spacers in between each row, and then you're just going to get the bars and set it on and it takes a while to line it up i will fast forward this part and you'll see me moving really fast because it just takes a while to get it all lined up There's one. It's going pretty good. You gotta be gentle because you don't wanna screw the threads up because you still gotta have nuts that go on top of those studs. It also comes with the uh, little screws. Um, it's got places on here that's drilled and tapped. Um, for, for those screws, you can put a ring terminal on your balancer. I'm not gonna do a balancer tonight, I'll do that later. I've already done a video on it. I did a video on building the 43 and a half amp hour, um, but this video's a lot better than that one. I had to do that one kinda backwards because I didn't have the spacers and I'm in patient so I went ahead and put the bars on so I had the bars on the cells and then tried to add the spacers it didn't work I did it by flipping them over and shoving it in there but that's not how that is not how you should have done it so all these holes are kind of recessed I'll get you closer all right so this is what we're looking at now so the holes are recessed. The easiest way is just to kind of set it on there and slide it over on top of it. Like I said, look how small these things are. They are tiny. And you're going to want to take your time 
So make sure that you get them on there good because you do not want to cross thread these things. So this is a little seven millimeter. So I kind of fill it. going sorry that light is bright these bars are shiny so you get the idea um, I'm gonna go through and put these all on and get them tight and i'll get back to you in just a second oh and it does go like positive negative so here's your cell you know you got positive negative positive negative positive negative positive negative positive negative positive negative so that'll be my negative post and that'll be my positive post all right well, an hour later, I got all the nuts on and um, got them on there snug pretty good. Um, skib doesn't have to be compressed, but it has to be contained. So I need to build a tight uh, containment system for this. Um, right now I just wrapped um, some electrical tape around it probably 30 times because I don't have time to build one tonight um but it's just going to kind of keep it in place all right i will check it and see what she says so 15.3 i'll put it on a charger i just have one of those inverters um so i'll put it on there to about 15.8 because that's where i charge at and just do a slow charge and uh get it good you don't want to put a battery just throw it in there and let your alternator charge it up with however many amps of charging power you have so bring it up with the trickle charger or not a trickle charger but a small power supply and uh it should be good <laughs> 